Greeting Braid Knights. I am Emilos, and welcome to my video. This time I want to share everything about the Abyssal Mist Event 2023. Let's go! First of all, introducing the unique rogue, Lucius. He is strong against the cult enemies, and his rage skill can potentially pull a decent damage on guild boss, like the Atlantic and Hydra. It also has a chance to put weakened debuff on all enemies. Not to mention his basic skill heals and gives protect buff to the knight at the same time. Next one, introducing the legendary mage Dosio. He is strong against the undead type and his rage skill has a chance to stun all enemies. His 6 star perk adds weakened bonus to his rage skill as well. By wearing Rebel Gauntlet, you can use his base skill to fill the Rage Gauge to 100% in just 4 actions, then damage and remove any buffs on the enemy at the same time. No rewards no party, and we love looting cool items. Upon reaching 250,000 event points, you will get a unique event cape, the device. That comes along with the amazing Abyssal Explorer armor set, which is just perfect with the cape. The pair of weapons skins also makes your knight look badass. Let's say you are a huge fan of outstanding skins, there are choices for some premium ones for a limited time only. The octopus-like enemies in this event are the Shockex. They have ability stealth to make them immune to any weapon damage, but base or rage skills. The most efficient way to earn event points is by doing portals during the weekend. Kill all the enemies faster, to earn around 2000 to 4000 points on average. You may auto-attack during portal, by bringing any hero that has a base skill that damages multiple targets. Victor and Alder are a good combo for the smooth runs. The portal enemies mostly are cult and undead types. Highly recommended to use an attuned mythic weapon at least to undead, to help kill the shock X faster. Jelker is the hardest enemy in the portal, and shows up on rounds 3 to 5. He uses the sacrifice skill on his right side ally, to boost 50% damage and die the next two turns. You can either kill or interrupt Jelker before he uses Sacrifice. Otherwise, kill the sacrificed enemy before it dies, to add more points at the end of the portal. There are special roaming monsters that spawn only during the event period. In the first week, you may battle Zeza the Whisperer for some amount of event points. You can unlock the Lost Knight upon completing the event quest. He spawns once every day at a fixed time, and drops a handsome reward. Abyssal Mist Chest Shade of Beggar Expert Mode is an undead-type guild boss for this event. The best setup for this attempt is Hunter, and wearing Maverick Gauntlet. Upon killing this boss, you will earn 5000 points to speed up your event progress. However, the boss got 7 days of cooldown to be summoned again. Delphinea is a strong versus undead hunter. Her fifth star perk is to add a 50% critical chance to undead enemies, and will likely critically hit the boss. Bayani is one of the decent support rogue. His base skill has a very high chance to put exposed debuff on the boss, even if he is on a lower level than the target. Maverick Gauntlet is famous, due to its speed to generate rage from critical hits. It is the best choice for pulling high damage from most event bosses. Unlike the regular guild bosses, the event bosses are very squishy in the early rounds. 
A low-level weapon is needed to put focus the knight and expose debuff on the boss. Bring greater elixir of power to add some tricks on the later rounds. It's expensive, but a key factor in pulling maximum damage on the boss. Last but not least. Try to attach an exposed chance charm onto your armor to add the chance of your weapon and Bayani's base skill exposes the boss. Let's go to the show. There are 7 rounds or 12 turns on every boss attempt. You have 4 actions each turn, and it needs a good execution of the sequences to pull decent damage. First of all, the main idea of this composition is to put exposed debuff on the boss by using a low-level weapon while building some rage to kill it next turn. Hunter is well known as the best class to fight undead. Delphinia has a very high chance of landing critical hits. Maybe she is just an epic hero, but it tasted legendary. All event boss health point is ridiculously low even in expert mode. Repeat the action sequences nice and clean without punching the boss up to round 3. Boss HP pool is increased by each round. You may punch the boss to generate more rage and damage. Maintain the action sequences without overkilling. There are only two turns left in round six. Use Bayani's base skill then use Greater Elixir of Power to fill up the Rage Gauge. Punch and kill the boss right away. You may gamble by using Delhinia's base skill for more damage, with a risk of overkilling the boss. Expose then use Greater Elixir of Power and kill the boss for good. May the Goddess of Fortune smile upon you. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.